Hello and welcome to another game in our hammer series, Play the Demo. Uh, today's demo is a game called Slay the Princess, and I guess you have to slay the princess. Um, as before with the last game, I have done no research reading into it. All I know is, which I've now learned from the screen, that the game is a bit of a horror. Um, I'm not really a scary game fan, but I'm willing to try to get into more scary games as I go along. So, let's give this a try. Um, let's see what it says. This is a horror game and is not intended for all audiences. Please visit our website if you need a full list of content warnings. Slay the Princess contains flickering images, image effects. If this poses a health risk you, you can turn off animations in the preferences. So, um, this game is going to be available on Steam from next year. It's currently just in demo form. It hasn't been fully released yet. So if you're interested, if you find the game play to your liking, if you like the style, I will see if I can link it in the description below. So let's get into it. Come on, as always, find some way to itch when I'm recording. Black Tabby Cat. Or Black Tabby Games. Okay. So there's the princess. Let's see, options. Um, limited background, text to speech. Just turn the music down just a little bit. Okay. Wish list on Steam. Visit Scarlet Hollow. Okay, let's see that the controls are Shift A, opens an accessibility menu. Enter advances dialogue, space advances dialogue. Without selecting choices. Arrow keys for the moving, escape to access the game menu, control skips. Okay, here's for screenshot. Okay, oh, and you can go backwards and forwards in the text. Okay, let's get started. Maybe I should name myself the itchy nose, uh, nose gamer. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Okay. Uh, explore the world. Oh, uh, explore. The end of the world? What are you talking about? Well, have you considered that maybe she's only going to end the world because she's locked up? Explore. Killing the princess seems kind of bad, though, doesn't it? Can someone else do this? Let's go with this one. While I appreciate the mental exercise, we are running up against a bit of a ticking clock. Yes, well, I can't move. Nevertheless, let me assure you, the princess is locked up because she is dangerous. She is not dangerous because she's locked up. And before you decide to waste even more of our time by asking how I know that, let me suggest a more pragmatic lens through which to view this situation. Causality doesn't matter here, because the end result is the same no matter what led us up to this point. If the princess leaves the cabin, the world will end, and there is no changing that. Maybe she just doesn't have to leave the cabin. There's no use arguing semantics over a metaphorical chicken or egg, because the egg is hatched and it's about to ruin everything. Unless, of course, you do your job and slay her. Well... Maybe we can just remove the door. Feed her through the window. Uh, can someone else do it? Forget this, I'm not doing it. Have you maybe could. Yeah, let's go with that. Of course, I haven't. Why would I even consider that? Nobody <laughs> wants the world to end. I mean, maybe some people do. Like nihilists, or very, very evil people, but surely you're not one of those. Right? Um, okay, thanks for sending me what to do, sweet. I wanted to off a monarch, viva la revolution. Yeah, let's go that way. Spirit. <laughs> viva la revolution. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. A warning before you go any further. Of course. She will lie 
She will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. I'm, I'm gonna believe everything she says. <laughs> We're not gonna go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Good point. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Oh, does he? Proceed into the cabin. Well, this is a horror game, so... I wonder what the horror aspect of this game is going to be. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. Okay, well then, you put the blade on the table, and who's been feeding the princess, because obviously she's been eaten because she's still alive, but you have to kill her. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Maybe I could kill it with kindness. <laughs> I want to see what happens if we don't take the blade with. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favour. If it smells that bad, she probably can't smell it anymore. Her voice softly carries up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? Yes, me. Hypnotising. It's the kind of voice you only have to hear once to remember it for the rest of your life. Maybe. I'll forget it in half an hour. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. You're playing a dangerous game by coming here unarmed. Okay, so who do I believe? Will I believe the princess? Or will I believe the narrator? One of them is going to be trying to manipulate me. Maybe they, maybe they both are. Don't believe anyone. Don't be a stranger. It's been so long since I've had any visitors. Please, come downstairs. Come on, boy. You know what? If she's gonna kill you me... walk down the stairs I'll, and lock I'll eyes die. with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? Well, you know what they say, looks can be deceiving. I am begging you to stay focused. There's a lot riding on you here. Hi. Do you think you can get me out of these chains? You're only making this more difficult. <laughs> I'm doing everything against what the narrator wants. Thank you. Thank you. You're making a huge mistake. Okay, if I make a mistake, I make a mistake. No. You're doing the right thing. One of them's right. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. They're large and heavy. Far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. Yeah. I'm strong. <laughs> I'm guessing you don't have the key? No. Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains it's somewhere upstairs. in the cabin. I bet you it's upstairs. Okay. I'll be here. Good luck. You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You hear the click of a lock sliding into place. Hmm. Is someone else here? Your shouts and pleas are met with silence. Bitch was the narrator. I'll repeat myself <coughs> once again. You're here to slay the princess. 
and you won't leave until the task is done. You try the door, but it's locked from the outside. But if it's old, maybe I can break it. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd just taken the blade like you were supposed to. Maybe I could have used the blade to open the door. Easier for whom? Easier for everyone. Look at the mess you're in. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? Unfortunately, yes. There's a slight panic rising in the princess's voice. If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. Maybe she's got something in her crown we can use. She barely hesitates before raising her arm oh. to her mouth, her teeth tearing through her limb with the determination of a trapped wolf. Now I see where it's up. As she rips her flesh oh. from her bone, a sound yeah. comes from behind you. The clang of bouncing metal. It's the blade from upstairs. You're not sure how it made its way down here, but if there's a time to strike, it's now. No. Or we could use it to free her. You won't like what happens if you do that. If I get eaten, I get eaten. <sighs> Fine. Against your better judgment, you place the blade against the ragged, self-inflicted wound on the princess's arm. Just Ow. above the unyielding chain binding her to this place. Look at those eyes. Cut into her flesh. The blade is sharp, Ow. and it takes little effort to crack through the bone of her arm. She's not even screaming in pain. Her limb falls to the ground, and the heavy chains follow suit. Why she didn't do that before? She didn't so much as utter a sound through the whole ordeal. If I get eaten, I get eaten. No. She didn't. She clutches the wound, softly smiling as her gaze meets yours. How is she still smiling after everything? It's like she isn't even bothered by what just happened. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. No, we won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. I can't just let her escape into the world. You can't stop as narrator, you're just a voice. As the princess approaches the bottom stair, your body steps forward and raises the blade. Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. Why do I look like that? Watch me. What are you doing? Stop that. Oh, I thought this was all a little too easy. Hmm. Your body lunges forward, the blade held low, ready to sink into her heart. But the princess dodges. Wait, she dodges? Stop it. Stop trying to resist me. I'm trying to get you out of here alive. I, I actually don't care if you didn't. The blade. Move. The blade. No. No. I'm sorry. I can see you're doing your best to resist what's happening to you. I'll try and make this quick. She pounces on you with the same animal ferocity she used to tear through her arm. You feel her claws on your throat, then her teeth, somehow sharp enough to pull apart your flesh and sinew with ease. You collapse to the floor your body unresponsive as your blood pools on the ground beneath you. She stares down at your ravaged form, eyes shining in the darkness, dress stained red as your blood seeps into the fabric. Right on. When she manages to escape from this place and bring ruin to the world, know that it was all your fault. It can't just end like this, right? As much as I'd prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't deny the reality of what's happened. Makes you kind of enjoying this game. I'm sorry, but it's over. I get the feeling it's not. Everything goes dark, and you die. Look at that. Talk to do the game's all. You're on a path <laughs> in the woods, and at the
at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. I'm getting a terrible sense of deja vu. A terrible sense of deja vu? No, you don't have that. This is the first time either of us has been here. No. I've literally just seen this. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Yes. Don't forget what he did to us the last time around. We can help her. We just have to find a way. Yes. But is there another one of us in here? Apparently, yes. Help her? Need I remind you how catastrophically dangerous she is? I told you about the stakes of this situation less than a minute ago. I'm enjoying this game. Sure. And all of us in here definitely believe you. <laughs> no, we don't. Just... Stay focused on the task at hand. Oh, yeah, no. Definitely, yeah, yeah, we're definitely gonna kill the princess. You know I can tell when you're lying, right? Please take this seriously, I am begging. <laughs> I thought my sarcasm was very subtle. I have one last warning for you. What's this? She will lie, she oh, will cheat, cheat, and she will do everything yeah, yeah, in her yeah. power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. Been there, done that. Got the t-shirt. Yes, yes, don't believe a word she says. Just go in, take the knife, <laughs> and do what you're supposed to. Wink, wink. Did you just say the word wink out loud? <laughs> yes. No, I didn't. Wink. <laughs> just ignore this clown. And focus on the princess. You see it into the There's somewhere we're gonna see if I can look around because I'm pretty sure we might find the key. So she doesn't have to gnaw off her own. The interior all. of the cabin is almost entirely empty. The air stale and musty. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. I accidentally skipped. Can we not do anything? The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wonder if she'll have her hand still. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favour. Yeah, we're not going to sleep. Her voice carries softly up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? You're playing a dangerous game by coming here unarmed. It's even more hypnotizing than before. Is it more hypnotizing than before? Or is that just what we want it to be? Mm. I think we're in love. <laughs> we're in love already. For everyone's sake, you're not in love. Just don't let her charm you. It's all part of the manipulation. She already is. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. Huh. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, Why binding her to the far wall of the basement. There must be a reason why we don't see it. She's still so beautiful. And she has both of her arms again. Did everything we just went through actually happen? must have because she's different can't you tell she is different i do see it you i remember you you're going to help me get out of here yeah the crown's different no i need more i need more i'm definitely putting a summer wish list anyway that was amazing um, I definitely recommend it. I had so much fun. Uh, as you can see, you can wish list it on Steam right now. It's coming out next year. And I, I would recommend it. The seven endings in the demo? Hmm. Many ways to die. But anyway, 
I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for the next time I record, well, next time I upload a video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.